Hey guys, uh, I'm sorry for the uh, for the rather unexpected lighting. It does look a little bit unsettling, but uh, I just wanted to test out these uh, the LEDs I hitched up there, and uh, you know they seem to be working nicely. They seem to be lighting me up somewhat well. You, you know what? I'm I'm just gonna I'm just gonna turn this off and uh, go back to the regular lights. Oh fuck, sorry you had to see that guys, uh, to be perfectly honest, these LEDs are just for me to, uh, I, I just work better with them. Anyway, um, you may have noticed guys that the channel has been incredibly stagnant lately and there hasn't been any content, and there is a good reason for that, a good reason beyond YouTube not being my life. I mean, I enjoy doing it, despite how far down the toilet the website's gone, but, you know, I, uh, I just enjoy creating content all the same, but uh, there hasn't been a lot on the channel and there's a good reason for that, and I'm about to get into it. Um, I, there's been some exciting development recently, um, as, as far back as uh, November of last year, which I've been keeping concealed uh, up until now. I've finally got the okay to do it, um, but... You might, if you've watched my uh, my last recap back in 2022, uh, I told you guys that I got a few animation jobs. Uh, some of them have started. Some of them I'm still waiting for. Um, you know, word from uh, the ones organising it. But this particular project is incredibly exciting because I'm going to be a I'm going to be an ink and paint artist on a little short called Howl If You Love Me, which for those who don't know is created by John Dilworth, who is best known for being the creator of Courage the Cowardly Dog, uh, which is a show I really loved and still do. Uh, Mr. Dilworth has uh, been a very, uh, has, has been absolutely tenacious in the development of Howl, and I, I've seen his development videos uh, far, far before I, uh, he brought me on board, and they've they've always inspired me, and uh, they've helped me learn how to like storyboard, and and I've even learnt more actually working on the project with um, you know with animation and that. And uh, well, I, I'm not exactly animating it; I'm just doing the uh, ink and color, mainly the color. And uh, he's been very cool to work with. Uh, I'll link his channel below if, uh, if you're interested in following the development of Howl. Uh, he's also got a few of his old cartoons up there. Uh, Courage isn't one of them. But yeah, just to work for the guy that created Courage the Cowardly Dog and uh, it's, it's incredible. Um, sadly I might not use what I, uh, what I work on in a demo reel because that should be reserved for stuff I've animated from the ground up. But, um, to, to work for someone like Dilworth could, uh, be quite, um, would, uh, is, is quite an achievement, I, I must say. Um, I'm still flabbergasted myself that I got a job with him. And, uh, there's also another YouTuber on here, Bihon. I hope I pronounced that right. I'll link his channel below, but he created, uh, Spacious and WarioWare Tuned. Not only did I manage to uh, get him a job with uh, Mr. Dilworth, but I've also managed to uh, get myself a job with with Bihon. I've been doing a couple of animation assets for him, and uh, they're still in development, sadly, because a lot of my attention has been focused towards how, and also trying to find work in animation. And um, yeah, I'm uh, I'm just excited to work with uh, with two animators that. Um, that have more or less inspired um, inspired me to get into the uh, into the art form. Th that's kind of w what my time has been consumed by. Not that I'm complaining, because it is honestly a privilege to be working on these on this stuff. Uh, there are other animation works which um, which haven't started yet, sadly. But uh, I can understand why, because development the development phase is is incredibly uh, tumultuous at times and it takes a lot of time to absolutely perfect the concept which I will be getting into in this vlog so uh, I'm just really hoping that uh, I can get all 
that I can start on those jobs and start on my animations and hopefully build up a nice portfolio or demo reel. Um, and this brings me to uh, the next thing. I, I have actually been working very hard on uh, getting some stuff ready for the upcoming shorts. Um, Raph and I have written about uh, four shorts so far. Two of them are still in proofreading and one of them is being storyboarded. And the other one has been finalized and will be storyboarded after the one that's currently being storyboarded. And uh, yeah, I'm hoping to get all that in the uh, animatic process, in the animatic phase, and hopefully that should uh, not only give me some nice material for the demo reel, but it should also uh, help me, you know, adopt new art styles, which uh, are inspired by uh, other artists, but what isn't inspired by other artists. But uh, there's also uh, stuff like Meet the Mon and a couple of other animation ideas I'm trying to experiment with. There's also a few big projects I've been working on. One of them has a lot of its scripts already written. Uh, not all of them, just a lot of them. And is also being storyboarded. Well, the finished episodes are being storyboarded. And I'm hoping to... Uh, I'm hoping that before I storyboard them I can have them proofread with a with a couple of mates, and just to ensure that it's absolutely uh, uh, top tier, for lack of a better word. I've also been working on a, a pretty big project related to Skit Stack. No, I'm not making any more skits, that's over, but I am going to be working on something um, related to it. Uh, it's basically a doco series uh, detailing um, the history of where I tell the necessary details and, you know, the behind-the-scenes stuff and all that. And uh, also my general opinions on it entirely. So yeah, um, there's, there's a lot to look forward to, and it is a bit of a long wait, but this stuff does take time, especially when you have a very small team and a non-existent budget. And for the most part, I am doing all this by myself. Uh, and a lot of my friends, they're helping me when I can, but they also have their own lives that they're living, so I'm not, I don't want to impede on that, you know, um, but when they, they help when they can, and I appreciate that enough. So uh, with all that said and done, I'll, uh, I'll wrap the uh, vlog up, and I, uh, I hope that this development spells, um, spells great things for my uh, future in animation. And, uh, yeah, I, uh, I'm getting hungry, I'm gonna go get some food, uh, until then guys, have a good one.